now that we have control of the robot in every small factors, we can accomplish things we could never do before. Hello everyone, we are the essence of the Grey Region from Macau Puching Middle School. This is our third straight year to compete in this contest. And we are excited to present you the new modification and invention of our robot. Our team consists of four team members and I'm the team captain, Joshua Lee. I'm a mechanic and also a software engineer and I organize the members group. Hi, my name is Christian. In the previous two years, our team has participated in the 2019 Australia RoboCup at Home competition and the 2020 RoboCup at Home online competition. Proudly, we have won two championships in the junior category. This year, our team tends to challenge ourselves so that we have attended in the open category. My job is to record all the technical things in the project and write essays about them. Personally, the essence of the Grey Region team is just like the second family to me. Hi, my name is Thomas. I am the main programmer of the team. Since I was in secondary one, I have fallen in love with program coding. During my learning process, I have learned ROS, Python, C++, etc. In the coming year, as my teammates are going to graduate, I am preparing to be the team leader. In this year's project, despite the new changes of the structure of the robot, we have also advanced our algorithm and program on voice recognition, follow me, manipulator and detection. Hi, my name is Sebastian. I'm the mechanic of the team. Our team works in our lab called FatLab. FatLab is a place where we provide technical tools and expertise for students to achieve their imagination and innovation. Balancing schoolwork and leisure pursuit is the hardest thing. During the preparation, we have read a lot of books and maintain a positive increased spirit. Under the guidance of the teacher, the team member constantly try to courageously pick up new challenge and seriously improve and optimize their project. We have freed ourselves from the fixed structure from the previous robot. Before building our robot, we used SOLIDWORKS to draw out the design of it. We have made various versions and we rounded up with this design. Our team built a new robot using 3D printed joints, plastic boards, aluminium channels, etc. Follow me is a function that requires the robot to follow a person constantly beside the environmental factors. Last year, we have already achieved this function using depth and color detecting methods to follow the person in front of the robot. However, it ends up imprecisely, so we decided to mitigate it. The two main problems to deal with from last year's are robot following doll's corner and robot following the wrong person. This year, after doing lots of research, we have found a suitable model for our project, OpenVINO. It can track the right person according to its vector similarity between two photos at 0.01 seconds time intervals. As such, we can still detect the right person if someone walks across the camera and prevents tracking the object with a shorter distance. Carrying object is mainly presented with two main functions, locating the object and grabbing the object. Firstly, the team used object detection in YOLO to detect the object and record the depth with an RGBD camera. After collecting the data, we can calculate the X, Y, Z axis value using proportional calculation. Eventually, we control each servos to grab the object and deliver it to other places. This function requires precise control, so we need lots of refinements to accomplish this effect. In our theme, this function is used to carry drinks to the customers in a restaurant. One of the main functions of the RGBD camera is to detect objects such as furniture and obstacles. After getting the source image in the camera, it is sent to our server and YOLO is used to recognize the objects. This showcase is for showing the capability of our robot. In the near future, we will train a model with objects we will see in a restaurant. For example, plates, waiters, waitresses, chairs, couches and tables. And we can use it with SLAM to precisely locate its direction and location. Hello, what's your name? My name is Roby. How can I help you? 
I want to order a spaghetti. All right, spaghetti. What else do you want to order? I want to order a pizza. All right, a pizza. What else do you want to order? I want to order a burger. All right, a cheeseburger or tomato burger. A cheeseburger, please. All right, cheeseburger. What else do you want to order? That's all, thank you. All right, please wait for a moment. Our chief is making it for you. We use voice recognition to jot down what food our customer want. Moreover, we've also increased the size of storage area on our robot, so we can put more drinks, foods, or even personal belongings of the customer on the robot. Certainly, this year is the hardest year for us. As the COVID-19 pandemic continues to spread out in Macau, we seldom have time to meet each other. So the time for collaboration is little. However, we didn't back down in the face of adversity. Instead, we continue to build new innovative function this year. Not just adding new functions, but also rebuilding the whole robot. The aim of our team has always been to spread ROS, RoboCup, and home robots to more students. And we will continue to bring this on in the future. Thank you.